Good morning. Welcome back to Storytime. Have any of you ever gotten away from your parents or gotten lost away from your parents? I know when I was younger, I did. And our two kids, when they were younger, they got separated from us too. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Well, today I'm going to read a story called The Missing Sheep. And it's found in the stories Jesus told. There's a question right at the beginning of the story that says, Does God really care about me? Let's find out. One bright morning, a shepherd led his flock out to the pasture. He walked ahead, and the sheep followed close behind. There were snakes and wild animals and birds of prey in the country, and it was important to keep close to the shepherd. Only one young sheep lagged behind. Why always go to the same pasture? The grass looks so green and the wildflowers so pretty over to the left. No one would notice if he went exploring. He slipped behind a rock and soon reached the green field he had seen. The grass was delicious and he could see a little stream further on. He skipped along, but it was getting very hot. Just a little further. And then he saw some shady rocks. He curled up under the shade of one of them and went to sleep. I guess even sheep need to take a nap once in a while. I sure like one every now and then. The sheep slept for a long time. When he woke up, the sun was going down. He felt very frightened. I must get back to the flock, he thought. But he couldn't remember the way he had come. I'm lost, thought the sheep. What shall I do? The sun disappeared and it was getting dark. Somewhere among, among the rocks, a wolf howled. Arrrr! The sheep began to run wildly, but he was running the wrong way. It was now so dark, he could not see a path at all. There seemed to be no more grass, only stones and thorn bushes. Tired and very cold, he lay down under a rock. Oh, there's no hope for me at all, he thought, unless my shepherd comes to look for me. But he has so many sheep. Why should he care about a silly, disobedient sheep like me? Meanwhile, the shepherd had led the rest of the flock to another green field with the stream flowing through it. The sheep grazed peacefully until the sky grew red with the setting sun. Then they followed the shepherd home. One by one they entered the sheepfold, and one by one the shepherd counted them in. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, this can't be the last. I know I set out with 100 sheep. He counted again, but there was no mistake. One was missing. It was nearly dark, but he fetched his stick and his lantern. Where are you going? asked the neighbors. I'm going to find my lost sheep, answered the shepherd. But it's dangerous out there. Why bother? You have many others. I love my sheep, answered the shepherd, and this one needs me. So off he went. It was cold and dark, and he, he too heard the wolf howling. Arrrr! Sometimes he stumbled on sharp rocks. Sometimes thorns tore his hands. But I'm not going home until I find my lost sheep, said the shepherd. Suddenly, he stood still. He could hear a faint bleat. Bah, bah. That's him, cried the shepherd. And guided by the bleating, he found the lost animal. Joyfully, he picked up the frightened sheep and laid it across his shoulders. It was almost morning when they got home, and the neighbors were waking up. 
Let's have a party, said the tired shepherd. I have found my lost sheep. What a fuss over one, thought the neighbors. But to the shepherd, everyone was loved and important. However small you may be, God loves you. And if you can see, there's the shepherd with his one sheep on his shoulders. That's really special to think that God loves each of us. With all the people on this planet, he loves every one of us and knows us. It's pretty cool. All right. Thanks for joining me for story time. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.